Guitar and Excel, Open Chords, C Major Scale, C Major Chord, Worksheet. Get ready because it's time for our Guitar Skills 2, Excel. Here we are in Excel. If you don't have access to this workbook, that's okay because we basically built this from a blank worksheet, but we started in a prior presentation. So if you want to build this from a blank worksheet, you may want to begin back there. However, you don't necessarily need the workbook if looking at this from a music theory perspective because we will simply be using it as a tool to map out the fretboard and related uh, scale and chords. If you do have access to the workbook, there's two tabs down below, example and the OG tab. The OG tab representing the worksheet we put together in the prior section, that now being our starting point. So we're going to copy over from the OG tab so we don't mess up our OG worksheet and then we will change it to uh, fit our current needs which is represented in the example tab. So let's go to the example tab to get an idea of what we will do from this OG worksheet to get into this example tab and why. So on the example tab, we're going to take our fretboard and we're going to try to trim it down to just where our focal point is. In this case, we're looking at the open positions. And this is going to be a common technique that is very, very helpful when trying to learn the fretboard. When looking at the fretboard, you might say, hey, there's not too much going on here. I can take that. I can see the whole fretboard pretty clearly in my field of sight. It's not that big. But when you try to analyze what's actually going on within it, it gets very overwhelming very quickly. So the technique typically that needs to be used here is breaking the fretboard down into smaller components and looking at specific areas of it and then building your understanding of it from there. So what we're going to do is we can trim it down to just the open positions of the fretboard and then we're going to be uh, making it so we can see the worksheet over here which represents the major scale in C major and we're going to be focusing in on the one chord which is going to be the C major chord and then we will map that out on our worksheet and we'll use these little tools here to be able to see how we can finger finger our positions and what's the different ways that we are looking at this and then we'll, we'll kind of analyze what this looks like. Uh, and then, so we'll do that up top here so we can just see the chords. We'll also have another worksheet down here so that we can see the chords on top of the major scale. So we can see how this fits in the major scale. We'll do the same thing with the pentatonic scale. So we can see how the chord fits in the pentatonic scale. And then we'll do another one fitting the pentatonic major and the chords, which have a lot of colors going on so that we can kind of go through each of these things and analyze them, how they fit together. Okay, so let's go to the OG tab. First thing I'm gonna do is take my OG tab and I'm gonna copy it over so I don't mess up the OG. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold down control, left click on this tab, and then drag to the right. And that'll just copy the tab over. So now we've got the second OG tab. I'm gonna double click on it and, and say this is gonna be, let's say open uh, chord C and I'll make it white. This is going to, I'm going to make the color white because the OG is dressed in the OG orange and this will be the one we're working in, which is the white tab. Okay. So then what we did last time is we, we mapped out our fretboard in terms of numbers. We mapped out our fretboard, uh, in terms of numbers and letters, which I think is a useful tool to look at the intervals. We numbered our scales, so we built this by by having the musical alphabet, A, A sharp, or B flat. I'm representing that with a lowercase a and a B, uh, B, C, C sharp, D, and so on. And then we numbered them, these being absolute numbers here. And that's gonna help us with our intervals. So now that we have that, uh, what I'd like to do is have my major, I want to focus in on the major scale. Now, the way we constructed our worksheet is we're looking at C major here with the key on C. So here's our C major. And then and then underneath it, we've got the minor uh, and, and the Dorian related to C and so on. But, and then on to the right of it, we've got all the modes related to C. What I really want to do is focus in on multiple layers of C because I want to I want to have a fretboard that I can map out in multiple different ways. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first remove everything on this fretboard. I got a bunch of stuff in here. You may not have stuff in the fretboard, 
but I'm going to remove the conditional formatting by going to the Home tab, uh, Styles, Conditional Formatting, and clear them. And then I'm just going to copy down the these the major the major one here so that I can focus so that I have it repeating over and over again because that's where my focus will be. So I'm going to put my cursor on the one and scroll down and copy it down to to uh, the 19. Is that as far as I want to go? Let's make it a little smaller so I can see exactly how far down I want to go. Let's go from one down to uh, down to here, 25. So I pick up everything. Let's copy that and I'm going to paste it right here. Control V. So now I'm just pasting it on top. So I'm overwriting what we did before so I can just repeat. I'm just going to paste it all the way down. Paste Control V. And then right here, I'm going to paste Control V. And then here, I'm going to paste Control V. We may not need all of these. Paste Control V. But I'll just have this one thing repeated multiple times so I can look at multiple fretboards. That should be enough. So then I'm going to assume that we don't want to look at just the numbers only. So I'm going to hide all of the numbers only ones at this time. So I'll put my cursor up here and we'll go down to, uh, to here and right click and hide. So I can hide all of that. And then if I go to the right, I really want to go down to this point. So to see that, I'm going to also hide everything from... I don't need to see all of this stuff. I just want to see the the this worksheet next to my fretboard. And the fretboard, I really only need to go out to like the third the third position here and just look at those three or maybe four would be good. But let's just keep it let's just keep it at uh, let's keep it at four. Let's go to four. So I'm gonna then now I'll go to three. Let's go to three. So I'm gonna put my cursor on the E. And I'm going to drag on over to go next to this one and then right click and hide all of that. So now I've got this little bit of the fretboard that I'm, that I'm going to be looking at and focusing in on. Uh, so then I'm going to hide all of the numbers down here. So I'm going to go from, I really can go from right here to get everything as close and tight as possible. So I'm going to hide from 24 down to... 38 right click and hide and so now i've got the two fretboards on top of each other and then i can hide from here down to here right click and hide i'm not deleting i'm just hiding them and then i'm going to go from here if you delete them you're going to mess things up because it'll <laughs> all the formulas will get messed up so i'm going to uh, right click and hide this and then I'll do the same here, from here to here, right click and hide that. Uh, oh, I did the wrong thing. What, what is that? Right click and hide that. And then from here to here, right click and hide that. Okay, and then I've got one more. So I probably don't need all of these but I'll do this one right click and hide that and so and I'm not worried about messing it up because I still have my OG down here so I can always go back there and fix things if I need to so now I'm going to scroll in because I really just need this part right here the the wheel might be useful but that's not where our focus is going to be so I'm going to hold down control and scroll in you know as far as we can so that it kind of fits on the screen so now we can we can zoom way in and focus on this little bit. Now, I don't really need this right now, so I'm going to make this small. This will help me to kind of focus in on a certain area. So now what I'd like to do is I'm going to map this first one out. So, so what I have on the right here is the C major scale. So you've got, these are relative positions, what I call relative position one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. They're relative because they're not absolute numbers, whereas this number nine when we numbered the cells, that's uh, note number nine, which this this is a relative position one relative to the C scale. Relative position one is a C relative to the C scale. So then we then we have our notes. These are the notes in the scale one through seven, and then we can map out our chords. And we're looking really just at these three because we're mapping out just the major 
uh, the major chords. So let's map that out over here a couple different ways. I'm going to do this with my conditional formatting. So I'm going to select all of this stuff and we'll use our conditional formatting to map out the notes in the key of C, which is going to be the C, E, and the G. So I'll do that by going to the, to, to the home tab, styles, conditional formatting, and I'm going to say if it's equal to, and I like to make different colors because I want to really focus in on which is which, meaning what's the one note, what's the two, what's the, uh, you know, the, the, the second note in the chord and the third note of the chord, what's the one, three, five. So I'm going to say this is going to be equal to the C. I like to make the root green. So that's where we want to be. You want to always be kind of hovering around that one. That's going to be the, 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 the major central, central point. And then I'm going to say, let's do it again. And this is going to be the E. I'll make it red. And some and the red almost stands out more than the green, but that's the other major format that they have here. And then we're going to say, let's do it again. And then the, the, the last one is a G. And that G, I'm going to make it the yellow. So there we have it. And so now when I start to do my fingering, I can see my fretboard. This is the open strings. And, uh, and so this is where I start putting my fingers on it. And you can see here's your C position. This is where your fingers go. I can use this down here to start to map out where I'd put my fingers. I'm going to copy this and paste another one here. I'd put a finger there and I'd put a finger down here. And then I would, this would be an open position, no finger there and no finger there. And notice you have other options here. You could finger this one. You could mute this string altogether. This is the low E string, by the way, the string that's on the top of the guitar when you're holding it closest to the ceiling. And, and so, so that's how we'll start to map that out. And so we'll use this next time to really kind of analyze what is happening here in the open position. The open position is deceptively simple because people just learn this shape as a C shape, but it's actually uh, a little confusing because you because you only need three notes to create a C and you could play all of the six notes here in this open position. That would be fine because you have repetitive notes. The more you're able to see what's happening here, the more you're going to be able to both learn the open notes, but also be able to move these things up the fretboard and be able to see these relationships uh, and, and so it's a, it's a good thing to, to do both of those things because it's fun to play the open chords and just uh, strum away at it. But it's also useful to take some time sometimes to really analyze it because that allows you to kind of move it around more. So then next, so I'm also going to format this. Let's format paint this one. I'm going to go to the home tab, format painter, and just paint that formatting here. So I can see format painter, I'll paint it here, and then format paint this one here. So that's where our focus on. I'll copy one more of these and then just, and then I'll put this on where I'm really looking, which node I'm kind of looking at in this scale when I start, when we start to analyze this. Okay. And then I'm going to do it again down here, but this time I want to note the minor, the minor scale and see how the chords fit into the minor scale. So first I'm going to indicate the minor, the minor notes are the one, uh, the two, the three, the five, and the six. I'm going to indicate, I mean, these aren't the minor notes. These are the pentatonic notes. These are the pentatonic, excuse me, pentatonic scale we're looking at. And these, uh, these, the major chord will fit, all of these chords will fit into uh, the pentatonic scale generally. So that's going to be the idea. So let's map out the pentatonic scale. So home tab. I'm going to go to the font group drop down. I'm going to make these green to indicate that's these are the notes in the pentatonic. Notice there's five notes in it instead of the seven. And it's useful to map out the pentatonic because uh, it's usually a safer uh, scale to use. Uh, and it when you're switching from modes to modes, the pentatonic is often the the go to safe, safer place to go. Uh, so that and then but then we'll also add these other two notes and do the major scale as well which is often also really useful to memorize and understand because then you can count out the actual notes in the scale a lot more easily it's hard to count out the notes in the scale when you're skipping you know some of the notes when we're used to the major scale okay so let's map this one out so I'll do the same thing this time I'm going to make all of 
all of the notes that are in this scale a different color. Let's make them, uh, let's make them like a green. Hopefully it doesn't stand out too much with our, with our C, with a green. But anyway, let's go to the home tab, format painter, and I'm going to say if it equals, and I'm just going to pick all of the ones that are green, and then I'll add my notes on top of it. So I'll show you how that works. I'll pick this one here. I'm going to make it an, an additional formatting, custom formatting, and then I'm going to go to the fill, and we can make it some kind of green. Maybe we do like that green. Maybe. Let's see what that looks like. So there that is, that's going to clash a little bit when we do that other formatting, but we'll keep it there for now. So I'm going to say, okay. And then I'm going to do this again. I'm going to go to the format equals, and I'm going down to all the notes in the scale now. So there's the second note that's in, it's in the pentatonic and major scale, customizing it. I'm going to make it green. And then we're going to say, okay, uh, I made it the wrong green. Let's undo that. Undo. Oh, redo. Okay, let's do it again. Dropping it down. And this is going to be this one. And then I wanted to customize it and make it this green. Okay, there it is. Okay. So there's that one. And then I'm going to say next one is going to be this E. Dropping it down. Making it that green. Okay. And then I'm going to this one, the G, skipping the, the F because I'm looking pentatonic this time equals two. We're looking at the G drop down and I want to make that this green. Okay. And okay. And then dropping it down again and equal two. And let's go to the, this one, make it green, custom green, make it that green again. And okay. Okay. And then on top of that, I'm going to put my C, the C with the same color coding we had up top, which hopefully doesn't clash too much with our green. We'll see what it, we'll, we'll see here. So I should have tested this out a bit more, but we're going to say this is going to be equal to, and now I'm going to pick up the C. Notice I already had a C in here, but now I'm going to put this formatting kind of on top of it. Hold on a second. Cancel. I have to select the, select what I'm looking at and then do it. So now I'm picking up the C. I want to make it the green one. So now it's a different green. So hopefully, hopefully that's not too, like looks too similar because I used two greens there, but we'll go with it. And then this one, we're going to insert and say, this is going to be equal to, it's hard to get all the colors. There's so many, <laughs> that, well, that one. And then I'm going to say, okay. And then we're going to say, this is going to be equal to this one. And that's going to be the yellow. So we'll say yellow and okay. And then I'll format paint this stuff here again, format paint this here, and then I'll format paint this here, and then I'll format paint this here. So now you can see the pentatonic scale. We'll talk about the pentatonic scale later. It's a little bit difficult to see the pentatonic scale sometimes in the open position because you lose some of the, some of the, pent, the full pentatonic shapes uh, format in the open positions, uh, and you have, and you can do a lot different fingering, you know, with the open positions, but obviously the open position is also, the, there's a reason it's more complicated. It's because you have more things you could do because you have those open strings available to you. We'll talk about more about the pentatonic scale later, but just note that once we start messing around just with the C, we can then say, well, I can, I can kind of noodle around as they say, with any of these notes in the pentatonic scale and kind of always go back to home playing some kind of C. So we'll practice kind of noodling around with that uh, in here and try to in, in, in a future presentation. So then let's do this time we'll do the same thing except we'll use the whole major scale. So this time I'm going to put everything in the major scale. So I'm going to select this whole thing. And I'm this time I'm going to say the major scale is going to be blue. So I'm going to say this is going to be equal to the C. And I'm going to say this is going to be a custom formatting blue. I'm just going to make all of them blue. So I'm going to say this next one is going to be this one. And I'm going to make it custom formatting blue. And then I'm going to say, okay, next one is going to be equal to this one custom formatting blue. And then we'll say next one. Hold on a sec next one equals 
the F is going to be custom formatting and blue. And then, okay, next one equals the G custom formatting and blue. And then, okay, and then equals to A custom formatting blue. And then, okay, and one more time equals, uh, hold on, equals the B custom formatting and blue. Okay, so now this is the major scale in this in this position. And so now I'll put I'll put the C on top of it, which fits in the major scale. So I'm gonna say this is gonna be equal to equals to the C, and I'll make it green. And then I'm gonna say this equals to the E and I'll make it red. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, it was red by default. Red. And then we'll say this is going to be the equal to the G and we'll make it the yellow. Okay. And then I'll custom format this, format paint it to here, format paint this to here, format paint this to here. So now same thing, except now we've added a couple notes from the pentatonic. So now we can see the, the colored notes are still our C position, our, our C position here, right? We would be fingering this, this, and this open positions. But when you're noodling around, you can play the C and then you can start to play some of these other notes and it should all sound good because you're playing in the key of C. That would be like playing all the white notes on the piano it should sound good because you're in the same key so and notice this is getting a little bit messy because you might think about how am i going to do that because now there's a lot going on even in this little section so that's what we'll start to map out we'll start to say okay well what if 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 i was to try to noodle around on this then maybe i would let's copy this down here maybe i would then focus in on a certain area right i would i would play the c chord and then maybe focus in like the open strings are always good because you can always do the open strings that's what's great about playing in, like the key of c on a guitar because the open strings can ring out you if you're pretty safe that they're not going to clash too much with anything and then i can start playing just these in between and then go back to the c i don't really know what i'm doing up here at first i just know i'm playing some stuff that's in the scale you know, and then I can start to then I can start to understand what what I'm doing in relation to the C, and you can actually get some pretty fun stuff if you mix if you mix together just playing the C in multiple formats in this one position, and rhythm playing different rhythmically, uh, then you you have like an infinite number of things you can do just with like playing in the key of C, right? You could do things you know infinitely. Any case let's do it one more time this time i want to map out the the major and the minor so i'm going to list the minor the, i mean the <laughs> the major scale and the pentatonic so i'm going to list out the pentatonic notes again by going home tab and let's make these green and so this time i'm going to list out the pentatonics so let's do the same and then i'll add the two notes that are the major in blue and then we'll add the the other notes on top of that for the for the chord we're playing so this time i'm going to say all right let's start with the green ones this is going to be equal to this one let's make that green i'll make it this green that's what we did before okay and then we're going to say next i'm going to say equal to this one and it's going to be green custom green okay Okay, and then equal to this one, and it's going to be custom green. Okay, okay, and then equal to this one, and it's going to be custom green. Okay, okay, and then equal to this one, and it's going to be custom green. Custom green. And then the other two, I'm gonna make that blue. So then I'm gonna say the other two that make up the major is gonna be 
this one from from the pentatonic to the major is going to be that blue note it's not a blue scale it's just the blue, it's the, it's not the blue note in the blue scale don't get that mixed up and then i'm going to say this is going to be equal it's just the major scale and then we're going to say this is going to be the blue note so now we've got now we've got the pentatonic in green the and the added two notes right in blue and now let's put our chord on top of that so now i'm going to say our chord is going to be equal to the c it's going to be the green one which clashes a little bit with the other one but we're going to deal with it and then we've got the e and it's going to be let's make that one the red one and then we've got equal to the uh the g the g and it's going to be the yellow okay so then i'll format these i'm going to say this is going to be format paint that format paint that and format paint that so now and this one looks like if we didn't do this one by one and i just gave you this to look at it would be quite overwhelming but now that we've built these other three it might look a little less overwhelming so even though we're on this one little piece so if, if i just to recap it we're looking at this one little piece of the fretboard we started out just mapping out the three notes that create the c uh the c major then we said let's map that on top of the pentatonic scale so now we have the three notes that still represent the C major, but have the added notes in the pentatonic scale so that we can noodle around, we can finger pick or whatever we want to do, for, you know, you don't need you know, whatever style you're using, and then always go back to the C notes as your home base. And then we said, let's add the blue, the, the major notes on top of that. So this is all of the major notes, which are seven notes. So, and then we put the, the C on top of the seven notes you can do the same thing you can noodle around and then go back to that c uh, chord and then we we mapped out the green notes in uh, the pentatonic the blue notes being the added two notes and then these three notes mapped on top of them which are going to fit over all the green notes right because 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 the this chord will fit in the pentatonic scale which is larger than the chord and both the chord and the pentatonic scale will fit in the major scale we'll talk more about that in the future uh, but they'll kind of blend together so we'll kind of point them out now and then we'll talk about uh, the pentatonic and major scales in more detail later so what we'll do from this next time is that we'll, we'll pull out the actual guitar and start to start to finger this uh, position see the multiple ways we can play it and then also look at the uh, the relative positions in terms of the intervals